So yeah, time for some slow speed running I think. And we'll take it from there. Hi guys, and I'm back with this, uh, well, it's more of a reply to a fellow YouTuber video, um, Mr. Sam Strange, or, or Sam Strange, I don't know how, how he pronounces it, because I know something there's Mr. in the front. Um, so yeah, basically he had the Batman version of the Patriot class. Um, this is the Hornby Railroad one. Uh, obviously it's got no box or anything. Uh, I got this one from the the model shop in real in in Wales, and I think I paid about uh, twenty pound, twenty five pound. Um, I did get some. F I did get free royal coaches with it as well. Um, and it came to about fifty five sixty pound for the lot, which isn't bad. Um, yeah, so basically now there's going to be like a. Six minutes, uh, six minutes, sorry, six okay, seconds. Here we go. A little clip of Sam's video. Logo. That's the first thing you notice. Massive weight now to it. My but there she is, absolutely beautiful. And basically about his video. So I'll stop for six seconds. And there we go. Uh, it should have been shown by now. So yeah, this is this is a railroad version. Um, this is the late railroad version. Well, Early railroad version because it come in the plastic um, the plastic packaging, but it all done. Um, I believe now Hornby's come in uh, the famous block of ice. Uh, well, we'll start with the tender. It's quite light. Um, there's there's loads of rivets. Like I said, it's like a machine gun um, all over it, uh, which is you know. Prototypical, I believe. Um, there's even some down here on the uh, between the axles of the tender. Uh, no sprung buffers. Um, mm, it's all it's all painted in one thing. There's no de separate detail as such, apart from the handrails and the vacuum pipe. Um, all the rest, the coal load isn't bad. Uh, I have seen worse, and I've seen better. Uh, coal rail, coal rails quite good, quite fit, quite you know, pretty good. Um, well, it's nice and clean. Um, there's the connector. That's the ones I like. Uh, the motor is in the in, in the loco, which is always positive from my point of view. And let's have a look. So, yeah, so both the um, loco and the tender have a fat decoupling. Um, nicely applied number there, applied on the smoke box. Um, Handrails, um, steps, rivets, more rivets. I've very looked at rivets. Um, I think it's got a great western style chimney there, but I don't think it has. I just think it's what it was. These are seam lined, which is not an issue, but there's a seam line there. Uh, when it goes round, you're not going to see it. Um, I think they're whistles and safety rails. I think they're plastic. Could be wrong. Um, Lovely lining of this red and white lined. Um, the, that says um, Loris, I believe. Um, I think it's a ship. I will find out and correct myself. Uh, it's got glazing in the small windows. Um, it hasn't got no uh, cab detail to speak of. Um, it has these finely uh, handrails all down, uh, down here. And it's got the old pincer connection coupling. Um, yeah, it's not. It's a nice. It's a very nice loco. I, I know my reviews are not as good as some out there. I'm getting better, you know. Who dares and all that. So yeah. Um, would I recommend one? Yeah. Even if you paid sixty pound for it, I'd, I'd, um, I'd still recommend one. They are nice runners, which you should find out in the video coming up. Um, so yeah, so that's the um, video. I will um, get the history going and take it from there. Um, Sam's uh, video will be in the description. Um, I'm guessing most of you have seen it because he's a well-known YouTuber on the modern railway scene. Um, top, top guy. Um, 
if it wasn't for him, I don't think he'd have a channel because I asked him had enough questions at the start. Um, and he's dicked some of my ideas. <laughs> so I must have done something right somewhere along the line. Um, yeah. So if you're not seeing his video, please go and watch it. Way better than mine. More professional. Um, but yeah. Anyway, yeah. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you've got any comments, please let me know. Thank you for watching. The LMS Patriot class. The LMS Patriot class was a class of 52 express steam locomotives built by the London, Midland, and Scottish Railway. The first locomotive was built in 1930 and lasted until 19, and the last was in 1934. All of the Patriot class were withdrawn from service in 1965. The class was based on a chassis of the Royal Scott combination with the boiler um, earning a larger boiler, earning them the nickname of the Baby Scots. They also did uh, rebuilds of the Patriot classes as well. Here is some information on the class. Uh, power type steam designer Sir Henry Fowler. Builders LMS Crew and Derby, uh, built in 1930 to 1934. 52 were produced. Wheel configuration is a 460, and they are standard gauge type. Cyl cylinders free. Valve gear Wilshire. Uh, valve type piston valve. Uh, train brake vacuum. Operated operation London, Midland, and Scotland and the BR power classification in 1930 to um, 1951 there were 5 XP um, in 1951 to 65 there were 6P and 5F they were drawn between 1960 and 65 all original liquors were scrapped and there is a new one under construction which is called the Unknown Warrior. BR number of the loco I've just looked at is 45532. First grouping number LMS 5532. Name Dorius. Uh, class code PAT. Designer Fowler. Uh, wheel configuration is a 460. It was built on the 11th of the 4th, 1933, at Crew Works. Uh, 1948 shed code 5A Crew North. Last shed code 12A Carlisle Upper By. Withdrawn on the 1st of the 2nd, 1964, uh, at uh, Campbell's and Airdrie. It was cut up. And on the 31st of the 1st, 1965, note, Clackington LNW rebuilt, re rebuilt July 1948. So yeah, time for some slow speed running I think, and we'll take it from there.